Hello, everyone. Uh, we are waiting a few minutes before starting uh, to let the other participants uh, join, and uh, we will be starting soon. Thank you. Hello everyone, we remind that this uh, uh, call uh, is uh, uh, recorded um, and uh, we are going to start soon uh, uh, the presentation and the information of the community call. We wait uh, just one more minute and we start. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, we are starting uh, this community call today. Uh, this is the fifth uh, edition and uh, we will be much more uh, uh, frequent the next year. As you can see in our website, you already can uh, uh, register yourself for uh, uh, the next uh, community calls. You can save the date. And uh, um, today, uh, Alessia is going to present uh, what the, um, the new future and what happened after the previous community call and uh, then we will explain what are the rational and uh, uh, the next steps the, um, that Open Air Connect uh, is going to um, uh, offer to you uh, and uh, okay I'm leaving the floor to Alessia to start so Alessia, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you, Julia. Let me share my screen. Okay, do you see it in presentation mode in full screen? That's all good. That's perfect. Okay, so again, welcome to the fifth community call. And the agenda for today is to say hello to the new communities that uh, are working with us uh, uh, since April. And uh, there are some technical news, so some new features, some new functionalities that I would like you to, to know and to be aware of. And as Julia said, we will uh, give some insights on what's going on now that the Open Air Nexus project, uh, which basically funded uh, your gateway, uh, what, what we can do for the sustainability of your gateways. And clearly we will have a session of questions and answers, but if you have any questions while I'm speaking, you can raise your hand and, uh, and speak up. So welcome to the new communities. So here, I hope I didn't forget any, anyone, but we have 12 new communities since April 2023. And uh, this is a very uh, a very good number. And uh, I will show you afterwards also the diversity 
that uh, characterize these communities uh, because they they work on different aspects uh, of science and research. So this is what we had in December 2021. So this is a Mm, let's say a clustering, a categorization of uh, gateways, uh, and we have some whose content is selected because of affiliations and repositories, like uh, university alliances or um, research infrastructures. And we also have thematic gateways. So mm, say that the content is selected based on the topic, on the subjects. So from energy research to uh, transport or social science and humanities, uh, digital humanities, and, and so on. There are many, as you can see. But now, uh, now we are much more. <laughs> so we, we grow the number, both from the point of view of institutional, let's say, uh, gateways, thanks to many, many university alliances that uh, decided to, to use our Connect service, uh, but also the thematic gateways grew a lot. So I'm really happy that uh, the Open Air Connect service can really help uh, different communities with different needs. And uh, I'm very happy uh, to share uh, with you this, uh, this overview. Um, if we think about the um, the topics, the subjects that uh, the gateways cover, uh, we started in December 2021 with three gateways in social science and humanities and digital humanities. We have some uh, gateways on marine science, biomedical, uh, food and agriculture, research and innovation, and energy and transport. Um, but now I really think that <laughs> we have a, a good growth in uh, many, I mean, in, in all of the categories, except from food and agriculture, because our collaboration with AG Infra uh, ended, so we are not covered from that point of view. But on the other hand, uh, the growth in research and innovation and uh, or also uh, social science and humanities and digital humanities uh, is really uh, is really impressive, I would say. So some highlights on technical news, so some new uh, functionalities uh, that uh, we introduced since April uh, this year. Ah, first of all, how to stay up to date. We did some uh, work in order to organize a little bit uh, the, uh, the technical activities and the release plans of the update of the Open Air Connect gateways. So on Trello, you can find uh, a new Trello board with the um, where we highlight the functionalities that are launched, but also what we are working on and which are uh, the activities that we plan uh, in, the, in the next period. And also in the Open Air Catalog, if you enter the, um, the, the, the section, let's say, of Open Air Connect, you can see the full change log. So if we resolve bugs, if we have new functionalities, if we, uh, if, we did, if we do something at the release, you will find the details in the change log. So what's new since April? So first of all, we created new pages uh, that you can enable or disable. And with these pages, you can highlight uh, the research products that are in your gateway that uh, are related to uh, fields of science and to sustainable development goals. And you can find uh, these pages in the About menu if they are enabled. And if you do not see them, but you want to see them, yeah, then you can go to the administration dashboard, uh, look for the pages and uh, enable them. Uh, we have also pages uh, for FAQ and roadmap. 
related to your gateway. So this was requested by uh, one of the communities, but we thought that it was really relevant for all of you if you want to uh, add these pages in your gateway. So again, you can go in the, in the administration dashboard and uh, include it and edit the text and write uh, whatever you want, whatever you think it's useful for the users of your gateway. And finally, we make uh, we made a new page for uh, developers where you can find documentation about how to use uh, the metadata of research products in your gateway. So you can find uh, links to the uh, documentation of the Open Air APIs and also to the uh, community dump that I, I would rather say the, the, the snapshot of metadata records of, um, of your gateway. Uh, we also had a redesign of the search and landing pages. So you probably you already noticed that uh, uh, now there is a better grouping of different versions and now it's shown at the top of a research product and not anymore on the, on the right. Uh, also, uh, the access to the different actions that you can do on a research product now, uh, it's uh, easier to, to find. So you have uh, at hand the possibility to link the product to other research products, to projects, um, and to the communities. Uh, and then, of course, the link to share it on the social site, uh, to get the citations, and uh, to claim the product on ORCID. Uh, another improvement was the introduction of, um, of the some tabs here so that now you can scroll, decide to scroll down or just click on the tabs to automatically scroll to the section that, that you want. And to give more visibility to uh, the impact metrics and usage statistics, we also added at the top of the page for each project product. And if you click on uh, one item, you can see the details and the provenance of this information. Um, from the management point of view, uh, you can now find some more options in order to fine tune uh, the authorization on the gateways. So you can decide who can um, create links in your community, so who can use the link functionality. And you can also select if your gateway is open in the sense that uh, anyone can join, so anyone can subscribe to the gateway, uh, or if you will have to invite the people that uh, for the, for the subscription to the gateway. And in this way, you can really have more power to decide, for example, that only members, so only subscribed uh, people can uh, link products to your gateway. Another news from the administration dashboard is the introduction of new selection criteria for your research product. So uh, we included um, selection criteria for fields of science and sustainable development goals. And here you see an example of from the CNOMAD uh, Institute uh, Gateway. And the CNOMAD Institute works on, um, on several aspects all related to sustainable development goals. So the manager would like to add everything that has an impact on a sustainable, sustainable development goal uh, in the gateway. So we selected basically all of them, but you can also pick only one if it makes sense in your use case. And the other criteria are the uh, advanced criteria. So basically it's a way to combine uh, filters together. So in this example from the gateway of North American studies, for example, we, uh, we have uh, an advanced criteria that includes everything that has uh, Mexico in the subject or United States or Canada. Um, 
sorry, and they are in end. So it has Mexico, United States, Canada in the subjects, and uh, it has a field of science that starts with zero, zero 05, which is uh, the code for uh, social science and humanities. Um, not long. Um, so the uh, Another big uh, change that we implemented is that uh, we re-implemented the backend technology that stores the uh, community configuration. So I'm not going into the details of that, but uh, several requirements uh, coming from different communities uh, really needed uh, this change in the backend. And uh, the effect that you can already see now is that uh, now basically we can uh, include much more uh, projects and data sources in the configuration of a gateway. And also this enabled us to implement a very nice feature for uh, national gateways like the one we have for uh, the Netherlands. So that every time we update the list of projects from NWO, which is the national uh, funder from the Netherlands, then the configuration of the Netherlands portal is updated so that the managers do not need uh, to go to the, to the administration dashboard and select manually uh, all the projects from NWO. And another change in the backend was that we improved how uh, the link functionality works. So now you should have less difficulties uh, in performing bulk linking uh, uh, of products to your communities. We also have a plan for the next uh, for the next month. So uh, the first changes that you will see is that uh, you will have new filters that you can use to select. Uh, research products for your community, uh, publisher and publication year. And also because we had so many uh, uh, communities that are university alliances with projects funded by the Erasmus Plus funding program, then we plan to include also this funding stream into open air. Uh, while for now we have uh, only FP7, H2020, and Horizon Europe. So Erasmus Plus will be a new funding stream joining um, the open air graph. And then starting from March uh, next year, you will have more power to configure your homepage. And because now you can only basically work on the, the, on the description in the homepage, but in March you will be able to select much more element and configure much more element and also include links to, uh, uh, for example, if you have uh, guides on open science, if you have any material that you would like to share with your community, uh, you will find a place and a way to add this information uh, directly in the homepage. Uh, you will be able to uh, select project grants that are relevant for your community in bulk, so not one by one, which is a tedious work when you, you have a lot of them, uh, but you will be able to select uh, all the project grants that, uh, that you want. And another important feature will be the possibility to promote community repositories in deposit. Because now what we have in the deposit page of the gateways is, um, a search among uh, the content providers, data sources that are available in the open air graph. But we understand that as a community, uh, you offer repositories as a service to your, uh, to your researchers. So we believe that those should have a prominent place in, in the gateway because using the community repositories is really, um, an asset to improve the practices of open science within your community. Um, another change uh, that regards the content of your gateway is that we will automatically include 
the patents that are related to the publications of your community. Because um, OpenAir has a full text mining algorithm that uh, looks into the full text of open access publications and um, identify links to patents. And also when available, uh, the text of the patents is analyzed in order to find links to the publications. So we have these links, but uh, for some technical reason, I'm not going to explain, uh, the patents cannot really enter in your gateway now. So uh, we will make sure that they enter because they are really relevant also for um, an impact monitoring point of view because yeah, uh, <clears throat> patents have an impact on, on the innovation. And this relates to the next um, point that uh, is in the slide. So you will find also statistics on open science suspects. Um, let's say that uh, for now you have some sort of statistics by exploiting the filters of a, of a um, search result page, uh, but in the future, we will be able to embed in the gateway uh, charts about open size, open size aspects. So open access versus uh, uh, closed access or uh, gold or green rules that are used in order to publish the research products and, um, and so on. And also, uh, we will extend the metadata snapshots, so the, the metadata records that are available on Zenodo uh, for you to analyze or to build additional services on top of, on top of the data that we gather. Uh, they will be extended so that they include also other entities uh, of the open air graph that are related to your product. Because now you can only find the metadata about the research products. So publications, data sets, software, and other types of research products. But um, several communities asked whether it's possible to have also, for example, the organizations that are um, referred by these products. And we believe that this is very uh, reasonable and useful. So we will do it uh, by March 2024. And in the homepage of Connect, so connect.openair.eu, you can find the link to the roadmap where you will see um, all other also minor changes that you can expect uh, in the next year. Are there any questions on the technical news or features? Um, Okay. okay, so I think that we can go to the next part. I lost the focus. Okay, we can go uh, to the next part of the presentation. And I invite Julia <laughs> to, to start this topic, which is about uh, your Connect Gateway after uh, Open Air Nexus. Thank you, Alessia. Uh, I'm uh, stopping. Okay. Uh, I'm stopping you. Okay, I can share now. Perfect. Okay. Okay, uh, I will uh, give you an overview. I will uh, be fast, but the slides are a lot. So uh, if uh, something is not clear, feel free to stop me. Okay, so uh, most of you... Uh, have the confusion of uh, what uh, is open air in the sense that uh, um, we start uh, open air as a project but then in 2018 we became uh, um, a legal entity it means that already the uh, organization that at the beginning was uh, a project became uh, something that uh, uh, is much more sustainable 
Open Air born uh, with uh, um, the development of uh, open science in uh, Europe, and in particular in relationship uh, with uh, the uh, European funding uh, program and uh, the needs uh, to push forward open science uh, from the policy to the practice of the research. So open science uh, uh, is not anymore uh, something visionary, but uh, it's here to stay. It's a multifaceted, but open science has a cost and uh, uh, we need the long-term investments. So uh, the institutional approach is uh, crucial and uh, it requires uh, tools, incentives, assessment uh, to become a win-win uh, solution for everybody. Uh, we put uh, putting the research in the middle of the Holy Grail, uh, but we need also to have uh, much more actors in the uh, research ecosystem. So we are uh, passing from uh, a close and traditional scholarly communication into an open ecosystem. Uh, this transition is to support diversity, equity and inclusion. Uh, but um, the ownership uh, is passing to other organization and uh, uh, cannot be uh, without any cost. So just to give you an idea of what is Open Air now, uh, Open Air is a non-profit organization uh, and this is stay uh, as it is. Uh, we will not change uh, our business model. Uh, it's a scholarly communication infrastructures that brings together human capital and uh, advanced uh, computer and technology services. It's a network uh, uh, composed by uh, National Open Access Desk. We have uh, our headquarters in Greece, uh, but we have a virtual office, uh, uh, staff members, uh, uh, 50 members from 34 countries. Open Air has issued a strategy from 2023 and 25. So it's an organization uh, as uh, other European uh, organization uh, representing infrastructures in uh, uh, Europe for scholarly communication. We have our action lines that are based on services, training and policy. Uh, we have these three pillars of action um, and uh, here are the services focus area that are covering uh, most of the life cycle. We are operating uh, at the European and global scale and in particular since uh, uh, our uh, um, organization start for the European Commission, most of our services are serving uh, the European institutions and in particular we support the European Open Science Cloud. We have uh, physical infrastructure and this is uh, just uh, to let you understand the um, the size of open air. Uh, the funding uh, are coming from a different uh, uh, stream. We have uh, the European Commission framework programs that uh, is uh, supporting some services. We have other funders that are promoting and supporting uh, uh, our initiatives uh, and uh, services. Um, we are going to start membership fees from uh, uh, 2024. The services have uh, some procurement, some uh, direct assi assignment, and uh, um, we are going to start also the subscription starting from uh, the next year. There are also funding uh, directly uh, to support the training activities that we have. As you can see, our staff uh, uh, is, uh, um, we have a virtual office, but we have also um, staff from uh, institutions that you can see listed here. So what is happening uh, with uh, the services? Uh, also in EOSC, there, uh, there has been a working group on sustainability because all these services that are uh, um, uh, serving EOSC cannot be all for free and cannot be covered uh, all by the European Commission. And in any case, uh, the project has an end uh, 
So it's not uh, always uh, um, clear how to guarantee the sustainability of uh, the project. This is why we are changing uh, our financial and sustainability plan. Um, this is also part of the strategic plan for Horizon Europe uh, to make more uh, partnership and to have a clear life cycle approach. Uh, that it's not including uh, just uh, uh, this uh, uh, kind of project. Uh, moreover, our uh, um, main focus is to promote, uh, as we said, uh, as you could see in the previous slide, the vision and mission to support open science in Europe. Uh, these services will be always for free for researchers, but uh, we have some pricing strategy with a fee for uh, the services that are on demand and uh, that uh, are owned uh, by you. And this is the case of Connect because we provide the infrastructure, but you are the owner of uh, your gateway. So how uh, did we do uh, this um, uh, financial plan? So we uh, are aligning to what is uh, the open air as a legal entity so we have uh, no profit on uh, um, on the um, services but we need to um, cover the expenses that are related to uh, the infrastructure itself and also to make uh, all this service uh, scalable. As you could see in the slides from uh, Alessia, uh, the number of the gateways increased a lot. And we have also to offer uh, to you competitive services. So something that it's in continuous development and uh, it's uh, uh, co-adapted uh, by uh, what are your requests for making the service better. This is why also we have these community calls. Uh, we need also to guarantee uh, that uh, um, the standards are aligned to the policy and uh, to the community needs, that uh, this service like uh, uh, Open Air Connect is interoperable with uh, the other uh, open science ecosystem and the research infrastructures and other uh, systems, for instance, in USC. Uh, we need to assure uh, that we can also support and uh, give training uh, for uh, you and for your users. Um, and we assure the transparency and the alliance uh, and the research uh, excellence. Um, again, uh, here is to adopt and to promote open science in Europe at any kind of level, uh, to align with the policy that are uh, um, promoted at your national level for uh, the research assessment. In fact, most of you have uh, also statistical um, dashboard like uh, the open air monitor. We need also to be, uh, to make some efforts uh, at the legal uh, level in the terms and condition of the use uh, of the services. Um, we we must guarantee the design, the flexibility um, of the uh, open air services, and we reward and support uh, the open air AMC members. So if uh, um, your institution is not yet in open air and you would like to join as uh, members to uh, access to some discount, please let us know. What become open air means is also that you have a say in the development and in the solution that we have also at the strategic level. We are encouraging innovation, we comply with the policy and financial standards, and we would like to guarantee the services sustainability. So before, uh, we received the grants uh, of the European Commission that were uh, um, were enough to cover uh, the new gateways uh, in a limited scope and time. With the subscription fee, we are uh, establishing a long-term relationship with you. Uh, you uh, are fully owner 
of the services and we are just here to support uh, the uh, te at the technical level and at the computer level and at the human level uh, what uh, uh, what the gateways is offering also uh, behind the scenes uh, so Open Air Connect, uh, as you say, as you know, it's a personalized research gateway. Uh, you will have uh, a subscription uh, package each year. Uh, and uh, uh, you, um, you have your own personalized gateway and your uh, intellectual property, uh, property right will be established via some contracts. So now I would like to thank you and uh, to pass uh, to um, Alessia for uh, um, what exactly will be the stream for the uh, open air services. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Julia, because this context was really important uh, for everyone to, to know that, uh, I mean, open air is here to stay and clearly the more support we get from the members and from the collaborators, uh, the better it is. So with everything that you said in mind, uh, we try to uh, define the, the plans, the packages for uh, Open Air Connect. And basically, because you as communities, you are so diverse, uh, one plan uh, did not fit all of you. And because we believe in equity, then one plan does not fit all of you. And because we don't want to exclude anything because inclusiveness is something that we care about, then one plan was not enough. So the, the proposal we are working at, so this is not... Uh, at the final stage, uh, but um, I have to say that I'm, uh, well, happy enough uh, with them. Um, there are four plans that will be available that, um, and the idea was to try to uh, cover the, the different use cases that, uh, that we see while working with you. So we have, um, starter plan that okay here i have some specificities for each plan so the starter plan which is suggested for uh, thematic research uh, projects or um, uh, let's say like uh, digital humanities um, cultural heritage gateway or the gateways that we created for the neanias project uh, but also argo france which in fact is a is a, a research infrastructure. Um, so what, what you will get is um, a gateway as you have now with uh, statistics on open science aspects. And uh, we will also cover for sure also the training. So specific training for gateway managers and also the access to the open plateau uh, platform, which include uh, trainings on different aspects of, of open science and it will be um, the materials available there will increase uh, over time. Um, then we have the extended plan. The extended plan, uh, we suggest this plan for the university alliances or research networks uh, that are in need of um, a little bit more statistics because maybe you want to keep track of uh, also other aspects, not only open science, but also impact. And, um, the, and the other difference is that we will give the possibility to these communities to define um, custom pages. So uh, the possibility to add new pages uh, to the gateway. And since uh, we think this is a good plan for university alliances, uh, then we will also provide uh, clearly the training on open air guidelines because um, in most of the cases, 
uh, not all the repositories of the universities of the, of the Alliance were already uh, open air compliant. So their content was not already in the open air graph. So we think it's good to support them at becoming compliant uh, with the open air guidelines. Then we have the uh, advanced plan, which is suggested for research infrastructures that uh, need uh, a custom full text and data mining algorithm. And this is the case, for example, for uh, Hyperion, for Daria, or for Edit, um, so for uh, digital twins in health. Um, clearly, if you are research infrastructures, but uh, you know that the metadata uh, available in the open air graph is, uh, is good enough and can be used to pick all your research products, then you can go also uh, with the starter or extended plan. But if instead we have to go uh, through the full text of the publications in order to find uh, weird acknowledgements or weird references to the services of a research infrastructure, then uh, the advanced plan is the one that will work for you. And finally, the national and regional plan. Uh, basically, we only have one example for now, which is the Netherlands Research Portal. And the idea is to uh, create a gateway that contains all the, all the research products of, uh, of a country or a region. And in addition, uh, to extend the statistics, custom pages, and uh, and the trainings, uh, you will also have direct access to OpenArcs, which is the open air service that allows to uh, create information about organizations and basically create bridges between the different persistent identifiers that exist um, for organization. So ISNI, RAR identifier, uh, founder FID and so on. And uh, we will also support the integration of uh, project grants, uh, um, let's say, managed by uh, national or regional uh, funding initiatives. And this is to, in order, this is to, to give a better overview and better coverage of everything that is happening at the national or uh, regional level. So this is more or less the overview in the slides that we will share. You can also find uh, some more details in the next slide about uh, all the different functionalities that uh, we believe are we believe are useful. And um, I grouped by uh, typology, so you will find in this slide, for example, the functionalities that you will have about uh, the content and search. So the, let's say the, the coverage somehow. And then uh, data mining. So then I would like to stress that regardless the plan, you will all benefit from all the open air mining algorithms and also from the uh, mining algorithms of Sinobo, uh, which works for the mining of the sustainable development goals and the field of science. And uh, regarding the gateway customization, clearly the advanced and regional plans have something more. So they will have more power on the on the branding and then on the customization of uh, of the look and feel, and also for the construction of, uh, of new pages. Uh, we are always available to integrate community services or to include additional custom functionalities. And we can do this in several ways. Uh, for example, some of the functionalities that some communities ask are already planned in the context of other European Commission projects. So, uh, so if you have a functionality that you would like to see in your gateway, uh, let us know, because it could be the case that we already planned in another context, or maybe we plan something similar and we can adapt also for your use case. 
So we will have to discuss on case by case basis and try to understand uh, what we what we can do for you and probably also for the other communities. Uh, okay, also for the metadata snapshots, uh, for the advanced and national regional plans, uh, we can arrange a more frequent release. And the snapshots, anyway, they will be uh, published publicly on Zenodo with CC BY license. And Zenodo, as you know, is the is a repository managed by uh, managed by CERN, uh, which is one of the members of the uh, Okay, training and support, not much to add here. Uh, but for the deployment, uh, yes, I would like to stress that the community is the owner of the gateway, but indeed all the technical um, activities, so the provision of virtual machines, the IT security, uh, the disaster recovery, backups, uh, and everything is provided by the opener member uh, from Poland, ICM. Um, so everything runs on ICM premises in Poland, so in Europe. Uh, and you will not have to think about where to create your, your own virtual machine. You don't have to, to care about this. This is something that OpenAir will take care of. OK. So, thanks, Alessia. So now uh, we are uh, giving you the space to ask questions or uh, feelings uh, or uh, ideas. So you can raise your hands and uh, feel free to ask. I know that this was a lot of information all in, <laughs> all in one. Uh, so for sure, what, what we can add, Julia, is maybe that uh, um, at the beginning of the next year, we will anyway contact uh, all the community managers in order to agree with them, which is the best option for the sustainability of, of their gateway. And we will have uh, one to one uh, conversation in order to find the best solution. Yes. Eugenio. Yeah, I try to break the ice. Um, well, well, first question is about um, uh, what, since we are using this uh, Open Air Con Connect uh, tool, uh, maybe we can um, face some uh, well, I, I would not call them uh, issue, but um, well, things to be sort uh, sorted out. So I, I wonder if you you plan to have a sort of uh, ticketing uh, system to to ask um, to the developer to to sort out the things or or discuss about possible solution. Uh, we already have uh, the help desk that can be used. Um, the help desk is not, let's say, a, a direct uh, contact between you and the developers, but I mean, tickets reach me and Julia, and then we we, for, we forward when needed the request to the developers. Um, is the uh, Julia? I, I see you wrote um, the general the email, but is it is there also a, a web system they can use, or is it just via email? Uh, they can use uh, uh, the help desk. They can go to the open air and uh, uh, search for uh, support or contact contact us and they should be able to find us. And I think that also in the web page of their own their gateway should be a button to ask for feedback and of 
Okay. If we need to, well, I can make an example mm -hmm. <laughs> just to be, uh, to make the things easier. Uh, we, we, we set in the, in the look and feel of the landing page uh, uh, an either with an image. And uh, once we go to the, um, to the uh, how can I call it, the, the second page, when you go to the, to the page where, uh, where you have the, the, the filters on the left hand side, uh, the, the header uh, disappear and um, what, um, what I have now is uh, a color of the, of the header. So I wonder if I can, if I, I, I can uh, ask for, for this modification or for this improvement of the look and feel customization. Because uh, I was expecting to have the same uh, picture even in the other pages, not only in the in the landing page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I think we already <laughs> talked about this. Uh, yeah. And uh, what the developers said that this was done on purpose, so to have the background image only in the home page and not uh, in, in the other pages. Um, and this was, let's say, um, a decision to for um, a user experience uh, um, choice. Why? Because depending on the type of background image that is selected, the other elements in that part of the graphical user interface may not be as visible as they should. So they prefer to remove it for the other pages. Um, what I can do is to talk again with them to see, because I understand that it's counterintuitive. Because if I select an image, I would expect to see them uh, in all pages. OK. Any other questions, anything uh, that uh, uh, you are finding uh, hard uh, in uh, this period with the, the new developments? Or uh, anything you like most? Or any topic that you would like uh, us to uh, touch for the next community call? Well, if I can say again, maybe, um, well, actually, I did not uh, do any registration for the next call, actually, but uh, in case I will do, uh, maybe we can deepen a, a little bit more about uh, the sustainability of the, of the system uh, in terms of uh, uh, future fees and, uh, and so on if there are different cases uh, uh, respect to the different communities. And um, uh, I think for, for us, uh, since I'm, uh, I'm working for CNR, the National Research Council of Italy, I don't know for the other situation, but uh, even administrative issue can be a problem. So even, so to deepen this uh, topic could be useful. Thank you, Genio. I already uh, advised uh, the uh, Open Air Executive Board about uh, this possibility. And uh, uh, now we have a treasurer uh, who uh, will uh, will also uh, help and uh, and find uh, uh, and find some kind of solution. So. By next uh, year, we will do one-to-one -one, uh, discussion also to um, to see what are the specific case because everybody have uh, different uh, possibilities uh, uh, issue, and we understand that. Uh, on the moment in which uh, the first contracts uh, will be available, we will start contacting you, having the call, showing you the possibilities, and uh, finalize the contract. We are not expecting that uh, for the next year everything would be perfect, uh, 
but uh, uh, we hope that uh, from uh, um, we hope that uh, the process will be clear and distinct by doing this uh, uh, first year together. Okay, thank you. I don't know, unless if you want to do, to say anything else. No, no. So if there are no other questions, I think we can close this community call. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thanks uh, to be with us. Uh, and uh, I'm seeing from there also some uh, hello. Thanks, uh, Francois. <laughs> Uh, for us, it's very nice to have uh, the community uh, so much uh, involved and so much uh, interested to this uh, um, Connect Gateway. Uh, so anything you want uh, us to co-develop with you, please ask, uh, don't be afraid, uh, we want you to, um, to co-develop this service and to make it nicer. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Stefan. Nice to meet you again, Stefan. <laughs> yes, nice to see you. So I'll uh, think about uh, the, the marine uh, gateway, how to make it uh, happen. Great. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot. And uh, uh, register for the next calls. And we will be in touch uh, very soon. Thank you. Bye -bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.